She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Blah! What do flowers know about love, anyway? Well, hello there, boils and duels. Just getting in the mood for tonight's tawdry tale. A story of love and lurid lust in the dust. <laughs> sure to arouse the sickies amongst you to some heavy breathing. A tale I call Four-Sided Triangle. See if you can do something right and get me my eggs. Go on! And remember, don't break any or I'll break you. Milk the cow. Miss Yates wants her eggs. I said milk the cow.
What do you want? Well, I just want to talk Mary Jo, that's all. About what? Well, you know, things. Look, Mr. Gates, I never did nothing wrong by you. You got no cause of bothering me. You up running that night outside to stop and go when the owner was yelling about how he got robbed? Please, call the police. Call the police. I don't want to be anywhere but here. No, no, no. Uh. Once you come to this farm, little girl, you don't get to leave. Not ever. Uh. Oh, you stupid bitch. You see Mary Jo around? No. You didn't hear her scream? Scream? No, I, I didn't. I didn't hear her scream. What's that all over your front? I didn't milk in the cow. I guess I spilled some. George, you don't milk the cow. Mary Jo does. I'm sorry, Luis. I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I might tell you, I gotta tell you. You don't kill the help George. You beat him, but you don't kill him. Yeah, but she spilled the milk, Louisa. There's always more milk. There ain't always more help. Look, blood. Uh. She must be in there. Pick me up. What? You heard me pick me up. Pick me up. God for something. I, I don't want you listening to anything she says, because she's had a blow to the head. Why? What's she going to say? I don't know. Uh, where is he? Where's who? My man. Your what? My man. What'd you do with him? He was just here a second ago. I want him to make love to me. What do you want it? Oh, he want it. I told you. Touched.
good man, Joe. You like it? It's honeysuckle. I found it outside. I rubbed it all over my body from my mane. <laughs> you ain't got no man around, Joe. Ain't nobody around here for 60 miles except us. Yes, I do. I got me a man, even if you won't touch me. Doing, Mr. Gates. Oh, just trying to be friendly, Mary Jo. Well, I have a friend and he doesn't do that to me. Now, I'm a good lover. What are you two doing in here? Talking. Talking about what? Uh, nothing, Louise. Just talk. I didn't ask you, George. What were you and Mr. Yates talking about? Well, I was telling Mr. Yates not to get friendly with me. Because I already got a friend like that. What do you mean, get friendly? What did Mr. Yates do? Dang it, Louise. You, you know what she's like now? Touched. She's bragging about some man she claims she's got. I do. I got me a man. You do, huh? This man here is what's he look like? Well, he's real tall. And he always wears a hat and a suit. And he's all smiling at me. <laughs> and he's so big and strong. Enough of that. Someday he's gonna make love to me. Enough, I said! Now I'm getting this at the table. Well, one good thing about this anyway. What? She's crazy, George. Where's a crazy girl gonna run? Who's gonna take her in? Nobody. Right. We got her for life, George. Free help that ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Right, this one's to be here forever, ain't she? Maybe. Why is that making you so happy? Well, like you said, somebody would take care of us forever. I like that idea. Chicken pot pie ain't gonna run away. Chicken pot pie, no place to go. Chicken pot pie, don't matter anyhow. I got myself.
that changed. What do you think? You don't like it? Well, I wore it special just for you. I've been watching you out here all day. It makes me feel so lonesome for you. I seen you watching me too. I don't be shy. I know you won't be. So crazy she don't know the difference between that thing and a real man. He's not real, Mary Jo. He's just ragged straw and a pole stuck in the ground. He can't make love to you. Yes, he can. He will someday. I know he will. You listen to me, you little simpleton. He ain't no flesh and blood man. I am. I am. I am. No! Mary Jo! Where you been? I heard a critter uh, bothering the chickens. You get him? No. I didn't even see him. There's your critter, George. Mary Jo coming back from meeting with her man. That's what it was. Damn old simpleton keeping me up all night. You're a fool, George. A stupid old fool. Mary Jo, you dressing kind of different, ain't you? It's for my fella. Do you think you like it? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure he's going to love it. <laughs> I hope so. I have another date with him tonight at midnight. Maybe he'll like me a little bit better just like this. <laughs> Not George. George? You know what I'd do to you if I caught you cheating on me, don't you? Same thing you do to bulls when you want them to be steers. I ain't cheating on you, Louisa. I know you're not, George. Not now.
Shame for poor George and Louisa. They thought they had their labor problems all sewed up. But Mary Jo formed her own union with the Scarecrow. <laughs> and just when George was going to reward Mary Jo for all her hard work with a big bonus. <clears throat> now that is definitely not what you call safe sex. Tune in next week, kiddies, for another terribly traumatic tale. <laughs>